What's up Giant Slayers? Brandon here from David vs. Goliath BJJ. In today's video, we're going over how to darts a big guy when you have short, stocky arms like me. Uh, if you guys want to learn, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you a gi variation on one of my favorite chokes, the darts choke. Uh, works really well against big guys when you're playing gi. Okay, so starting off uh, in side control, a lot of times I'll pop up to knee belly. And the reason why I like to pop up to knee belly again is um, the bottom person's reaction is often to turn in a little bit. Okay, so uh, first, before the submission, I gotta make sure I'm controlling the position. So I'll do that by posting my hand uh, on Tim's far side hip, and I can even control the near side sleeve or the near side elbow. Okay, just to make sure he doesn't turn in too much, end up belling in, and then going for a single leg. Okay, but I do like the fact that a lot of times when we're in this position, uh, the bottom person has a natural tendency to want to turn through their side, and I'm gonna take advantage of that. Okay, so when I pop up to knee belly here, I like to pull out the gi. Okay, so one of, the, one of the main benefits to playing in the gi is that the gi is a weapon. It's a huge asset. Okay, so I like to pull out the gi here at the bottom of the tail here, and I'll wrap it underneath Tim's arm and around his neck here. Okay, so um, if I can't get Tim's head to pop off off the ground, I'll knee belly him. Okay, a lot of times I'll make a little space, and then I can feed that lapel underneath his neck here. Okay, so once I have control, I switched hands. The lapel went from my right hand to my left hand. Okay, now I'm just going to take my right hand and put the lapel back into my right hand here. Okay, I'm aiming to get the blade of my wrist, okay, right here, the blade of my wrist, right next to Tim's neck. Okay, so once I do that, I'm going to be right here, okay, and I'm going to look to go for a forearm choke. Okay, so if Tim's hand isn't here, okay, I'm just going to look to grab that same lapel, okay, karate chopped in, and finish, okay, closing my elbows together and going for a nice forearm choke, okay? Uh, if I can't grab my own lapel, I can also put my thumb in, again, same standard forearm choke where I'm looking to choke him here, okay? But a common reaction is Tim's not gonna wanna give up that forearm choke. That's a pretty common choke, okay? So he's gonna set his defense, not allow me to get that choke that I really want, okay? But this is gonna give me an, a great opportunity to go to the doors uh, that I like doing against big eyes, especially when I have short arms, okay? So I'm here, I'm trying to choke him. It's not working, he has a solid defense. All I'm going to look to do is get a cave grip on the top of his wrist. Okay, as I do this, I'm going to pull Tim onto his side, again, letting him come up to that knee belly and pulling his elbow in front of me. Okay, so notice how the elbow is on the outside. He's defending the choke. All right, get my grip. I pull the elbow in front of me. Okay, from here, all I have to do is complete or finish uh, the triangle. Okay, so uh, anytime we do a dart choke, it's essentially a triangle around Tim's neck. Okay, so his bicep and his shoulder are caught enough circulation on one side, and then my hand uh, is preset here on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna drop my chest in to help keep Tim's arm uh, stuck against his neck. And my right hand, my bottom hand here, is gonna pull like a lawnmower, okay, to apply pressure to Tim's neck. Okay, so meanwhile, I'm gonna keep on holding onto this grip here. I pull up. Okay, and I get a nice choke. <laughs> Go sinking in yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of the details again to making sure this is tight is making sure the blade of your forearm is lined up nicely with the side of the neck. If it's too shallow, you're not gonna get it. If it's too deep, you're just causing pain on a person's neck. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but try and find the sweet spot right on the neck here. Again, if Tim defends that forearm choke, okay, I'm grabbing the sleeve, I'm pulling it across, okay, controlling that elbow, dropping my chest in, and going for the finish. <laughs> Alright guys, there you have it, how to darts choke a big guy when you have short stocky arms like me uh, using the gi. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, if you did be sure to give that like button, a slap and a fist bump and we'll see you in the next video.